Hi guys, this is the Techie Guru, and for this video I'll be showing you how to get Nintendo DS games and Game Boy Advance games on your PC. For this you'll be using a soft, um, software called Noskba, which is an emulator for Nintendo DS games and Game Boy Advance games. So yeah. So to get this, um, you're basically going to just head over to your browser and come to this website as shown www.mediafire.com slash and a load of numbers then click to download it will be in the description so don't worry if you didn't catch that um, then once once that's downloaded just simply go to your downloads page and find it as you can see it should have a name like that NOSCBA 2.6a so just locate that, find it, and open it. To open it, you will need a software called WinRAR or another software if you found a better one. And to get that, just simply search on Google, just type in WinRAR, and then the WinRAR website will open up. So as you can see, in the file there is a README, which is basically a load of rubbish, and then there's the actual setup. And you don't have to do any installation or anything. So just drag it onto your desktop. I don't need to because I, obviously I've already got it. So now you've got the emulator, now you're going to be needing some games to play on the emulator. So when you click on it, you'll see there's an insert cartridge, and as you can see, I've got a couple of games already, already, or I've already downloaded. So now you're going to need some games. You may have some already, I don't know, but I'll just show you how to get them anyway. So again, you're going to head over to your browser, and come to this website here, downloadfreeroms.camranweb.com will be in the descriptions don't worry if you didn't catch that now come over to this search bar and just search in a Nintendo DS game awesome Pokemon so just search for it then hopefully yeah, a whole list of them will come up and as you can see there is a whole list so then there's lots of different languages so if you see there's an Italian and Spanish one there so just click the I click the Europe one as you can see here on the next page there are two download links there is the main one mega upload and there's a patch version if there is a patched version one that is one that is likely to work the other one is probably like broken or whatever doesn't work so cop um open up the link and then download download it and just wait for it to finish so i've, I've already downloaded it so i will need to download it so once you've downloaded it, locate the file again. It should have a name like that, or a name like that. So this is the one I just downloaded now. Just open that. And you can see you need WinRAR again, and there's the instructions. They don't really help much. So just follow what I do, and you'll be, and it'll be a lot more helpful. So open up your documents. All you want to do is just. Open up Win. Uh, use the WinRAR to copy it over and over. And as you can see in my documents, I have an NDS games file, which um, helps me to put my games in. So what you want to do is find that game, f f make a folder, and name it something easy. So you can see in it, just simply drag, oh, drag the game over into it, and wait for it to finish. And as you can see, once it's dragged over, it'll have. Um, ND5 at the end of it, dot ND5, and my other ones have NDS. So what you're going to do is simply go to rename it, just simply rename it, and change the 5 to an S. Symbols. And so you want to do that, you want to rename it the, the main thing, to obviously make it look nice, because you don't want it to have numbers in it. So I like it, I want it to look nice. So simply rename it, and as you see, I've, I'm I've already got that game there, so I'm just going to delete it because I've already got it. So you, you don't delete it. Right, so now you've got your emulator and your game. Now you want to click on the emulator and then insert cartridge again. Now you're going to click look in and then you want to find the folder where your game is stored. So if you remember, mine was in doc my documents and then it was in a folder called NDS games so this is where the good, re um, good folder name comes in 
and there are my games right there. So you're going to click on the game, I'll click on Mario, because Mario Pounds. And as you can see here, it says save data cannot be read, read, turn the power off, and reinsert the game card. This is easy fix, just go to options, emulation setup, and then you can see if you go down to the bottom, there is Nintendo DS cartridge backup. You should click that, and as you can see, there are a lot of choices here, and then you can pick any one for this, uh, for most games, but some games you can only pick one or the other just try them all out but I use EEPROM 64k bytes because that one works with all my games and it seems to work the best so just cho what it choose whatever you want so I click that one and click OK and go to file reset cartridge and hopefully this time it will work and there we go Super Mario Bros 3 now for controls go to options control setup and then if you want to use the keyboard just change the keyboard ones and if you want to use the joystick ones change the joystick ones it's pretty self explanatory so yeah so just change the simple ones and uh, so you're using the keypad and there we have it you have your game and unfortunately guys you will have to do all that um, so all those controls every time you do it and put the backup save data so thanks guys, this has been the Tech Guru and I've been showing you how to get Nintendo DS games and Game Boy game Game Boy games if you want on your PC. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.